has plans that they have put in place for the calling on all South Africans to use the period to foster nation building and to help forge greater social cohesion and a shared national identity. But for more on this, and especially what we can expect this coming month, we're joined by the CEO of the National Heritage Council in South Africa, uh, Ms. Morocco Mabe. Ms. Mabe, thank you for your time and good morning to you. I'm so excited. I was telling Gareth that, you know, there's something about uh, spring, but also Heritage Month, you know, in September because we get to dress up, but also it's new beginnings, it's a new season. But what have you planned as the National Heritage Council, just so to get everyone one into sort of the space you're in around national identity and social cohesion. Thank you very much. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited that it's spring day, but it's also the beginning of the Heritage Month. And all of us as South, African, South Africans, a diverse society, we need to celebrate this month heritage. And I would like to indicate that as the National Heritage Council, we are an agency of the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture, which is responsible for preservation of the country's heritage through policy advice to the minister, as well as the resistance liberation heritage, heritage education, and also providing community projects to the nation. But for this month, our theme, I don't want to go into that for now because the minister will give broader information around the Heritage Month. But I want to indicate that this year is the year of Charlotte Matweke, and we are celebrating the national intangible cultural heritage that she left behind us, but other leaders as well. Mm. And this intangible cu cultural heritage refers to the aspects like, you know, the, the things that cannot be touched, like songs, right. dance, praise, poetry, knowledge of how to cook African cuisine as well as brew African beer, build, mm. you know, the way we build our houses. All these things, they are part of our intangible cultural heritage. Yeah. But and I would the also last like a to... few minutes that I have with you, actually the last seconds I have with you, uh, because mm -hmm. we're running out of time, Ms. Mabe, uh, this Heritage Month will be different. Just like last year, we're in a COVID space. Uh, we usually gather on this month. We have celebrations, we bring family and friends, mm -hmm. but government further saying that this will be different this time around because we have to keep safe. How do you encourage a happy Heritage Month uh, with all the COVID restrictions? Look, it's correct that it will be a challenging one because of COVID-19. And most of our events through the department will be doing them virtually. And we are inviting South Africans to link on and to link in and share ideas with us. And definitely we will have to move around. We are not going to have big uh, events like I indicated because of COVID-19. But what is important is for our people to get that message to celebrate with us the rich cultural heritage that we have. And we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Muruakho Mumabe from the National Heritage Council of South Africa, further encouraging all South Africans to continue celebrating Heritage Month, of course, bearing in mind with those COVID restrictions. But join, of course, online to see how you can participate virtually.